Okay. Okay. Uh, up. And fuck it, go. Yeah. Go oh. full, full gas. Okay. All right. <laughs> Good job. Now, obviously, these trails are nothing at all like a Dakar rally stage, but it was actually surprisingly yeah, really good fun to ride through these trails. I definitely wanted to go faster than I was prepared to go in a brand new. $80,000 motorbike. Goal number one was just to not drop this thing. But yeah, they were 450, and for the size of the bike, it's actually surprisingly agile, surprisingly, surprisingly nimble. Um, it makes the old rally bike, the first model of the 450s that I raced in Dakar in 2012, feel like an absolute donkey. You know, they've really made these things a lot lighter, a lot more agile, a lot more nimble. But still, it is a big bike. It's not a 450 EXC, that's for sure. Um, by the end of the ride, I've got to be honest, I was missing my 890. You know, these trails, these roads, you know, probably better on the adventure bike. This is not an adventure bike. This is a rally race machine. And man, one day it'll be cool to get the chance to race one of these things again. But for now, just super stoked to have the opportunity to ride this bike in my local area, on my local roads and trails. Yeah, really appreciate it for the chance to get to ride this bike. Whoa, whoa. That gets it down there big time there. This is a desert. It's a great desert, I'm sure, but this is a desert.
this thing is fun. <laughs> 